Good morning. It is so good to be with you here on this cold, cold morning. Today is a special day in the circle of the church year. This Sunday, the last one before Lent begins, is called Transfiguration Sunday. Depending on when Easter falls, which has to do with the moon, this little green section of the church year, after Epiphany and before Lent, can be as long as nine Sundays, or as short as three or four Sundays. There are stories in the lectionary, the big guide that helps us decide what stories to work with each week, about the work that Jesus did early in his ministry for each of these Sundays. That means that in years like 2021, when there are six Sundays in this season, we end up fast-forwarding through some of these to get to the story we'll share today, the Transfiguration story. But I bet you can guess some of what Jesus has been up to in the section we're skipping over. He's been doing exactly what we know Jesus does. He's been coming close to people, helping them and healing them, and telling stories called parables about the kingdom of God. I'm telling you this because I want you to notice how this story today might be both the same as and different than that work. Jesus and three of his friends, Peter, James, and John, went up a mountain. Mountains are important in the Bible. You might remember that Moses climbed a mountain to come close to God and to get the ten best ways. You might remember that Elijah went up into the mountains and came close to God. And already in Mark, Jesus has gone up a mountainside to pray. This time, when they got to the top of the mountain, something really incredible happened. It looked to the disciples like Jesus was glowing. His clothes became bright white. And Moses and Elijah were there, talking to him. I wonder how Peter, James, and John felt. Afraid? Excited? Amazed? Maybe all of those things? Peter was the first one to speak. He asked Jesus if he and the others could build shelters for Jesus and for Moses and for Elijah. But suddenly, a voice from heaven said, This is my son. I love him. Listen to him. And then Elijah and Moses were gone. Jesus, Peter, James, and John went back down the mountain. They met up with the other disciples, and they went back to doing the work that they had been doing. I wonder if that work felt different now that they had seen Jesus in this way. I wonder how doing our part in God's work feels different when we have just come close to Jesus in a new way. Would you pray with me? God, thank you for this strange and wonderful story. Help us to come close to you today and help us take what we learn and share it with everyone around us. Amen. <laughs> 